Hello, my name is Constantino Sianplanes and this is my, my AR assignment, the AR uh, tabletop uh, game app. As you can see we have some virtual buttons on the left and uh, as we were clicking through those we instantiate uh, board games, different kinds of board games uh, like uh, chess, uh, big gammon, backgammon and uh, checkers. The mechanic that was is used uh, it was uh, very simple to move uh, the board game from uh, one place to uh, the, the the pawn from one place to another on the board. This is a different. This is, these are different kind of board games, but uh, in reality they have a simple movement system which I implemented to uh, be able to play them all. Uh, the scope of this app is, was to create, to create a, a more demanding and uh, a combination of uh, tabletop uh, games. As you can see by clicking on the screen, uh, we can, you can move the pawns around. And uh, by, by uh, playing each turn, uh, the players can switch between games pretty fast and play in combination of strategic games that are already very uh, very hard to play to play them combined so for example uh, if the player now plays the checkers and he can switch uh, to chess they're playing a round of chess and then they switch back and they play a round of uh, backgammon game and then they can switch again to play the checkers games so they, they can iterate through board games that have completely different rules and uh, for play them uh, with completely different strategies, strategies to win and iterate through them and with a simple mechanic of uh, the player be able to touch uh, a space on the board and select the pawn he wants to use he can move all the pawns around in every game very easily uh, and this uh, very easy to do through different games, with di although they have different rules, the type of movement is the same as in real life. The player just picks a pawn and selects where he wants to play the pawn. As you can see here, we go now to the background game, and the player again uh, can move the pawns around uh, very easily without. Uh, uh, being hard at all and without depending on the games, on the actual rules of the game he's playing. So this this experience is uh, it would be much much tougher than any game be played alone. So if you combine like three, four, five games for masters of strategy games, that would be a very challenging and a very uh, pleasant experience. As you can see now, the, the state of the board game, of each board game, is stored. So every time they switch from board game to board game, the, the, the board stays exactly the same as they left it in the last turn. So all the games, all the state of the game has been stored for each type of game. Like here, now he, he changes again from chess to checkers and then from chess to backgammon and then to checkers and the game is as they left it previously. Even if you close the app and you try to instantiate the game again, you can uh, start exactly the same position. Here you can see how fast the games are changing and how uh, well the buttons uh, how well the buttons react to 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 on press click when the, when the when the player uh, press them and all the state of the games have been stored as you can see throughout the game now you will see uh, the the type of, of basically actual gameplay how the player selects a pawn a space on the screen and the pawns and he moves around it's very easy to do as you can see and it's very practical 
for all the different type of games that use just uh, the same game mechanics. Choose a pawn, choose a place, and then move the pawn. That was uh, my assignment. Thanks very much. My name is Konstantinos Yavanis.